Hi, I'm Rob Griffith, Manager of Technical Support at Newmark. Today, I'm going to take you through how to set up your new IGJ3 on Mac or PC. Before you connect your IGJ3 to your computer for the first time, you'll first need to find out whether you're running a 32-bit or a 64-bit version of Windows. Then, you'll install the IGJ3 hardware drivers that match your version of Windows. Let's do that now. To find out whether you're running 32-bit or 64-bit Windows, you'll need to open the System Control Panel. Click on the Start menu in the lower left of your screen and choose Control Panel. Windows defaults to listing only a few of the available control panels. To display all of the control panels in Windows 7, next to View By, choose Large Icons. To do this in Vista or XP, look for Classic View on the right and click it to display all of the control panels. Next, find and double-click the System Control Panel. Your version of Windows will be listed here. Our demo system is running 32-bit Windows. You can close this window now. Now that you know which type of Windows your computer is running, 32-bit or 64-bit, it's time to install the drivers. Insert the CD that came with your IDJ3 into your computer CD drive. We'll use this to install both the IDJ3 hardware drivers and the included DJ software. Open Computer, navigate to the disk, and find the drivers that match your installation of Windows. For 32-bit Windows, choose the 32-bit drivers. For 64-bit Windows, choose the 64-bit drivers. The installation process is the same for either, so you can follow along with this video. In the driver folder, find the icon titled Setup. It will have a picture of a little computer next to it. Double-click this to begin the installation process. While the driver is being installed, Windows will likely ask you for your permission to continue. If you see any messages like this, choose Yes, Continue, or Allow. Choose the language that matches your installation. Click OK, then click Install the Driver. Accept the license agreement. Click Install. You'll be asked to connect your IGJ3 to your computer's USB port now. When you see this graphic, connect it to a USB port. Once a computer sees the IDJ3, the installation will continue. When the progress bar reaches the right, you'll be done. When the installation is complete, the installer will ask you to restart your computer. Do this now, and once you're rebooted, we'll install the DJ software. Now that you've installed the IDJ3 hardware drivers, you can install the included DJ software. Since the software will automatically launch after we install it and we'll be looking for a connected IDJ3 hardware controller, let's perform the installation with the IDJ3 already connected to a USB port on your computer. If you haven't done so already, insert the CD that came with your IDJ3 into your computer's CD drive. Next, open Computer, navigate to the CD, Double-click on it, and then navigate to the Mixvibes Cross-LE software installer for PC. Double-click on it to run the installation. During the installation process, Windows may ask you for your permission to continue. If you get any messages like this, choose Yes, Allow, or Continue. Choose the language that matches your installation. Agree to the license agreement. Click Next. Click Next again. Install. As soon as the installation is finished, the Mix5 software is going to launch all by itself. If this is the first time you're installing the software on your computer, at this point you will be asked to enter your software authorization code. This authorization code can be found printed on the CD sleeve. Let's take a moment to get acquainted with the software. If the IDJ3 is connected to a USB port on your computer when you launch Cross LE, you won't have any setup to do at all. All of the knobs and sliders and all of the buttons will be pre-configured and pre-mapped to the knobs and sliders in the software. Your output settings as well will also be pre-configured so you're ready to go. All you have to do is bring in some music and start DJing. You can bring music into Cross LE in a couple of different ways. The collection here on your left is where your library gets created. You can bring songs into your collection using File, Import Directory. The most common place for music to be found on a PC is in the music folder, My Music. Click OK and all of your songs are imported instantly. If you're an iTunes user, all of your iTunes songs 
and iTunes playlists are immediately accessible from within Cross LE and they stay synced. If you make a change in iTunes, you'll see it the next time you launch Cross LE. Without using the mouse at all, you can use the Browse button on the iDJ3 to select songs and to load them to either Deck A or Deck B. Connect a set of powered speakers or a PA system to the outputs and connect a set of headphones to the headphone outputs and you're ready to go. Turn up a channel volume, move the crossfader over to the channel that you want to play and hit play. We've got equalizers, bass, mid, and treble. Frequency kill switches, and you can scratch. You can also add an iPod. Music playing on the iPod will come in on the center channel. Or you can record the main output of your IDJ3 using the voice memo feature built into most iPods. If you have the optional DC power adapter connected to your IDJ3, it'll also charge your iPod. Put all of these features together and you have a really powerful computer-based DJ system. For more information or additional product support, visit newmark.com slash IDJ3.